everybody. Time for another episode of This Week in Real Estate. And again, I am a day behind. Yesterday just got really busy really quick. Had a few issues pop up and just couldn't quite get to it. Seems to be the story here lately. But just kind of give you a little review of last week, tell you what's coming up as well. So last week was uh, still a lot of paperwork type items. We had inspections inspections going on with a few transactions, so that was being negotiated back and forth a little bit. Had some showings, and they they varied quite a bit, which was a, which is a great part of of what I do. I really enjoy it to where we could be in a little you know showing or, or listing a little rental house for somebody, an investment opportunity, all the way up to you know multi acreage farm ground or yeah. Um, I forget what day it was. I remember it was cold, but uh, hog barns, we, we were looking at some hog barns as well. So the, the variety in this business, I, I do really enjoy. And that goes, that goes for uh, the physical properties and that goes for the people as well. So it's fun. It keeps me on my toes and uh, I really enjoy it. So um, I went to go see a property and we got it listed. So I looked at it earlier in the week and kind of did some research and things like that and then finished up the listing later in the week. And that's on Briar. And uh, I'm going back for some more pictures here. I believe tomorrow is getting cleaned up, cleaned out. So I will get to that. And then showed some commercial properties, one in Lynn and one in Winchester, which that was, that was, that was neat. Uh, the, the person looking, kind of looking around this area deals with prototype vehicles. So it was kind of neat talking to him and his business. Like I said, you meet a lot of different people in, in this in this line of work. So it was really interesting uh, hearing his story, how he got to where he was and, and what he's doing now. So that was that was fun to, to learn about. And then had uh, a couple closings. So we had a closing last week on some investment units from um, there in Muncie. And then just yesterday had another, um, it wasn't an investment unit, but just had a, had a normal, a normal residential closing and something uh, to point out with that one. So there was some misunderstanding and it was at the closing and there may have been some um, stronger emotions involved, but we got through it. But um, the, the word to the wise, if you will, is that, and, and I'm, I'm not going to put blame on any one person. We were all just not communicating very well, I'll be honest. So the, the seller didn't quite get everything out of the house that was expected. So there were some items left and they were larger items and the new buyer, the new owner, um, really didn't want to deal with those items, which I can understand. And so um, they also didn't do their final walkthrough as the buyer, which we could have addressed this situation. Again, it came out at closing. Uh, we could address the situation a little bit sooner and had everything kind of under wraps prior to closing, but uh, that didn't happen. So we're kind of scrambling at closing to get everybody basically happy to work out a solution. And we did. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, seller sold the house and the buyer bought the house and they're excited to live there. So it was just kind of a last, last second issue that we had to work through and um, things weren't great there for for a few minutes and while we talked everything through oh yeah i do have my assistant here today come here if you can hear that i don't know if he'll get up here come here come here come here, come here. no he's too big to pick up you see him there's his head there's blue dog yes went to the vet today just a normal checkup everything's fine um so anyway you know prior to closing sellers yes for the most part you have to get everything out buyers please do your final walkthrough to make sure everything's to your liking before you go to closing um but again happy we were able to work everything out for everybody so uh later in the in the week of last week so let's jump back to last week so we're able to get our christmas tree at home and get some christmas stuff up so that was fun and we celebrated lydia's birthday party yesterday two days ago, Sunday, and ha had, you know, our just immediate families over and that was fun for her uh, turning eight. And so uh, I'll throw some pictures up here, but had, had good food, good cake, good presents. So that was, that was fun. So looking, looking forward into this week, I got an appraisal actually coming up here in about an hour. I need to get to, 
So we'll do that. Uh, there is, there's, so I have some showings um, set up and one is on an auction property and it was really cool. I was out there yesterday going back out again on Friday and uh, I'll throw some pictures of that, that up too because it was just, it's just really cool. So you can tell, you know, back in the day, it, it was just a great little homestead for somebody. You had the dairy barn, you probably had what I would imagine the sow barn or something multiple little pastures, a little bit of tillable, things like that, some woods. And, you know, over the years, things just uh, didn't get taken care of. And so it does need uh, a fair amount of work. And uh, I just hope somebody picks that up and does that work or, you know, basically, in, in, in my opinion, keep the trees, maybe keep some hunting grounds, things like that. But so that's coming up uh, for auction next week. Uh, but I'll be out there again and uh, just totally enjoy doing that, taking taking clients out there for properties like that. So that's fun. But um, and then some random meetings coming up, you know, things like that. So that's that's what's you know expected here coming up this week. And that was the review of last week. And again, had my helper here today to help me with that. So if you have any questions or anything real estate related, go ahead and and either comment here or get a hold of me on my cell phone, 765-717-2407. So we'll see you next time. See ya.